Mama's sick. Doctor's diagnosis faulty. Prescriptions messed her kidneys up. That still haunts me. They told her not to have me, but she wouldn't abort. She said no. My mama said no, y'all. Even if it cut her life short. I was in the car with mama slump and daddy speeding. Her final breath was taken, left my heart bleeding. I was age four. My mommy got her wings early. I still question why she didn't live to see 30, y'all. See, I'm from Oklahoma. Small town called Hugo is where my mom was born and raised. She got sick. They didn't have any big hospitals or anything in Hugo. They had a clinic. And she had to trust that the doctor or the physician on site knew what the heck he was doing. But as it turns out, I guess he didn't. Because she went in, she had her symptoms. And once they diagnose you, they give you a what? Prescription. And it's so funny, I think about that because my auntie was telling me the story. You know us, we will mess up some words. We will mess up some words. So she's telling me the story. She's like, yeah, and um, yeah, your mama went in and, uh, and the doctor gave her a subscription to, I said, I said, come again. She said, but what? Well, she gave her a subscription. I said, okay, I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> I'm going to leave that alone. So they gave her a prescription. And she trusts the doctor. We trust people all the time. Sometimes you better be careful because you go through those drive throughs and you trust that that person behind that counter going to do right by your food, so you better not be acting crazy <laughs> when you're in there ordering because they don't tell them what they might do. But we trust people all the time, so she trusted them. Took the prescription. Took the medicine. Messed her kidneys up. He didn't know what messed up. She got pregnant. Went to the doctor. They did all the tests and said, oh, your kidneys are, something wrong with your kidneys. You can't have babies. She was already pregnant. So my advice for you is for you to abort the baby. And she said, excuse me, I don't know where you come from. And I really don't care where you come from, but as far as me, I'm not aborting my child. He was like, but you have to. Because there's a high risk that you may not make it through the pregnancy. And so he told, she, she, mom was like, no, I'm not doing it. So he told the family. And the family told her friends, and everybody was like, you need to abort the baby, abort the baby. And she said, no. And so she had me. That's why I'm standing on the stage today, of course, as you guys know. But I remember, everything seemed like it was good. Had me, everything was good. She got sick. I remember being in the car, and she was just writhing in pain. And my daddy was like, hey, it's going to be okay, it's going to be okay, it's going to be okay. She's writhing in pain. And little did I know, that would be the last time I would see my mom alive. So prescriptions messed her kidneys up, that still haunts me. They told her not to have me, but she wouldn't abort. She said no, even if it cut her life short. In the car with mama slumping, daddy speeding. Final breath was taken, left my heart bleeding. Age four, my mommy got her wings early. I still question why she didn't live to see 30. Papa scooped me up and took me from that drama. At least it was until he met my stepmama. Crazy is as crazy does. She took the cake. I broke down because I felt I couldn't catch a break. As you guys go through your journey with life, most, most, life, most of you guys already know there are going to be people who try to break you down. There are going to be people who try to mentally break you and tell you that you can't achieve and tell you they can't, you can't go to another level. And I know each and every one of you guys are achieving at a high level, and I know you got goals set to go to an even higher level. And on your journey, no, you can't do that. Nobody in your family's ever did that. How do you think you can make that work? They're going to try to instill fear with you. But the devil is a what? Liar. We already know that. But every time, somebody's going to be there trying to break you. You never let somebody else's perception of you become your reality. 